Afrei, welcome back to eHistoriata. Let's meet another one of your delegates representing Guam in FESPAC. My name is Joe Valoria. I am a delegate for the uh, FESPAC uh, 2016 from the village of Mong Mong. Uh, my disciplines are traditional fishing, uh, body ornamentation, muda, women's wardrobe, um, and warrior disciplines. Years of practice and experimenting in different art forms and styles have prepared him for this moment. I started off as a contemporary artist. I, I created uh, and depicted images of the Chamorro culture in way of solar pyrographic art. And uh, from there, though it was contemporary, it got me involved in being a little bit more curious about Chamorro history and culture. And going through a lot of research uh, in the past 20 years, um, early on, I felt that it was important to identify with what's more traditional art and how in the Chamorro culture there was a lot of disciplines that was really weak, um, especially in the area of non-practice. So I decided to get more involved, becoming proactive in making a difference in how we can revitalize certain areas of discipline in the culture. And uh, after solar or pyrographic art, I decided to go ahead and work with natural fiber. And the, the whole idea is how we can identify natural resources and how in reflecting back on uh, pre-history uh, Chamorro society, how they took their resources and had um, the, the ideology of how it could be function, uh, the items created uh, and fashioned together um, would be functional. Um, and then, because we were born into a fishing family, we kind of adapted through the process a little easier uh, being self-taught. So after identifying with the resources that may be stone, wood, bone, uh, and shell, we decided, okay, uh, in essence, in the very beginning, that's what they did. They identified, identified with their uh, coastal resources, pretty much. Um, and then through the years, we started to really develop, because it was just more than just research. It was actually manifesting a lot of the items and, and identifying specifically on um, how they took a lot of the, the resources and uh, created a marriage uh, and with the emphasis on, on how you can take, for instance, natural fiber and uh, create fishing implements, you know, a wardrobe, for instance, a stone, body ornamentation, shell as well, and how it delivered a sense of what your identity is today based on what, what has been researched in way of artifacts. Uh, in the area specifically in, in, in warrior discipline, um, I found that there was more than what just the narratives had to offer. Um, it was having, trying to have a better understanding of the science behind um, their everyday living and, and what was necessary to not just survive but uh, strive as a community. Uh, in the area of body ornamentation, it's interesting how even today we start to identify with our local resources, though limited, uh, we have practitioners that are very creative uh, pretty much using everything available uh, to them. But, but I think in the most part, what's most important uh, in way of body ornamentation and identifying what is the Chamorro culture, because you know we, we continue to move forward and evolve as a culture, but it's important that we continue to look at the very beginnings of Chamorro identity in way of body ornamentation, beliefs, practices, and how I think 
we can continue to improve on those areas. This will be Veloria's first time participating in the Festival of Pacific Arts. My role during FESPAC would be, um, I would like to, uh, I think, highlight, um, and, and especially in the areas where, you know, the community and visitors, visitors alike would, would come by the center and watch the demonstrations that, you know, and activities that we're putting into play. And that would include um, slingstone throwing, for instance, spear throwing. Um, we're going to go ahead and include uh, laddie stone carving. You know, we're hoping that we can have some of the uh, university students also um, to participate in, in, in the FESPAC events up here. Uh, MUDA will be included, we're hoping to have, uh, and just to give more recognition to the beginnings of uh, the Chamorro, prehistory Chamorro attire, whereby um, we can look at how uh, we can take those natural resources that was originally utilized and expand on it. Um, and to give recognition to, to uh, ancient wardrobe, uh, we want to emphasize that though limited, there's more than, meet, than meets the eye. For instance, in the area of menswear, and typically in general, the men wore nothing. But not too quick to say they wore nothing because we need to understand that body ornamentation in, in itself is their wear. You know, with the women it's limited, but we're hoping to further expand on the idea keeping with the concepts of prehistory, fashion, and how we can just highlight, you know, complement certain areas in way of de developing that area of wardrobe. So yes, we're hoping to have, um, you know, the Fanui Modu uh, tomorrow, which is tomorrow fashion show, up here at the center as well. Like most delegates, Valoria is excited about the cultural exchange that will take place during FESPAC. I think what I'm looking most forward to would be engaging with the visitors, uh, the other island nations and, and their representatives, uh, and how we can connect, you know, what's really similar in our practices and understanding uh, as far as how far back that goes. Valoria will be based here at the Chamorro Cultural Center at Ipau Point. Oh, I'd like to have everybody come up here to Sagan Kutura tomorrow, join us. Uh, Enjoy the view, we have a, 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 an incredible view, but, but more so for them to come over and see what we do have, uh, what we're sharing uh, uh, during FESPAC and beyond uh, FESPAC. Um, because we, we here at Sagan Katura tomorrow, um, our goal is to disseminate as much information to the public as possible. And even today, and because of, of the center, um, and there's only two cultural centers on the island, um, though we serve the whole community, uh, because of our location, we serve the central and the northern uh, 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 villages of the island. And I, I think on the most part, it's, it's really learning about each and every discipline available. Um, being able to touch and feel and a visual understanding of, of the designs and concepts uh, and the Chamorro technology of free history. And we are keeping it in the family. Up next, we'll meet another Valoria representing Guam in FESPAC. Mm -hmm.